Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Heidi Alaga. The University of Arizona is not only requiring masks on campus, but a certain type of mask. The school will require surgical masks on public transit and in campus buildings. The university says cloth masks won't cut it due to the spike in COVID cases. The rule also applies to any area of campus where clinical research is taking place and where PPE is currently required. Other schools around the country are also requiring surgical or higher grade masks. Experts say those masks have have more layers than cloth masks and block more of those infectious particles. N95s, KN95s, and KF94s are generally considered the most effective masks. Pima County Health Director Dr. Teresa Cullen says any mask is better than no mask, but that not all masks are created equal. In terms of effectiveness, we know an N95 is the most effective. You drop down below that to a surgical mask, the three ply, usually blue mask, sometimes they're pink, other colors that people see. And finally, a cloth mask. Um, Dr. Cullen says bandanas or gator masks are a step down from that and are less effective than cloth masks. Warm winter weather will stay with us to finish the week before another unsettled weather pattern arrives next week. Friday will bring highs in the low to mid 70s with plenty of sunshine. This weekend clouds will increase and temperatures will fall back into the upper 60s for afternoon highs. Overnight lows will climb back into the 40s. A slight chance of showers arrives for the middle of next week.